What are you doing here? I live here. What are the two of you celebrating? The engagement party we're throwing for Louise and Sheridan this evening. Louise and Sheridan are engaged? Oh, wonderful! I'm going to call them and congratulate... Wait. Why are you throwing them an engagement party? Father thought it would be an appropriate gesture. Oh, no, no, no. Alistair can't be happy that Sheridan is engaged to Louise. As far as your daddy dearest is concerned, Louise is nothing but a lowly, nosy cop. So what's the plan, Julian? What's in store for Louise and Sheridan at this engagement party? I repeat, what awful thing do you have planned for Louise and Sheridan at this engagement party? Whatever do you mean? What could we possibly do to Sheridan at a fete in her and Louise's honor? Yes, I mean, can't the Cranes throw a party for a family member? I mean, Sheridan is Alistair's daughter and Julian's sister. Oh, I am very well aware of Sheridan's lineage, Rebecca. I am also well aware of her abiding need for her father's love, and somehow I can't help but think that Julian and Alistair are taking advantage of it. Need I remind you that at one time you were willing to help father and me tear apart Louise and Sheridan in exchange for leaving Teresa and Ethan alone? Yes, I know, and I am ashamed of myself, but I was only trying to protect my son. Yes, well, as it turns out, you couldn't protect him. The whole world found out he wasn't a crane because of your lies. Nevertheless, <clears throat> father and I kept our word. We did nothing to try to tear apart. Ethan and Teresa. That was all my doing, and I'm not finished yet. Yes, uh, Alistair and Julian were devastated when the family lost Ethan. They're determined not to lose Sheridan, too. So you see, Father and I are not up to anything. This party is simply to show Sheridan our love and support. Mrs. Crane, you have a call. Thank you. I'll take it in the foyer. Well, still thick as thieves, I see. Get off your high horse. Nothing's going to happen to Louise and Sheridan at their engagement party. What about before the party or after? Pity her imagination wasn't this active in bed. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you inviting to the party, Julian? Oh, the whole town can come if they wish. <laughs> the more the merrier. Yeah. Indeed. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. <clears throat> the two of you snobs are willing to mingle with the local folk? Oh, my, 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 yes. Something is up indeed. How oh, Ivy. Do you hear that? You hear what? It sounds like... People screaming in terror, a, a woman and a, a little boy. Oh, well now I hear them. Sounds like they're getting closer. Oh yeah, it sounds like they're coming straight this way. me dropping by unannounced. <laughs> are, are you all right? Oh, yes. Aside from being a bit embarrassed here, I'm fine. <laughs> oh, you're, you're Tabitha Lennox, right? Yes, how kind of you to remember. Are you sure you're all right? Oh, yes, yes, I'm fine. Uh, but, um... Uh, uh, a glass of water would be nice. I think I have something, dust or something caught in my throat. Yeah, oh, of course, of course. I'll, I'll go get you some. Thank you. Uh, here you go. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so, um, Ms. Lennox. I... Tabitha, please call me Tabitha. Tabitha, what made you decide to drop in? Oh, this. My divining rod. I'm 
I'm sorry. You said your your divining rod? Oh, yes. Well, uh, being a senior citizen, I live on a fixed income, and sometimes uh, money gets tight. So my divining rod has often led me to hidden treasures. <laughs> and this time it's zeroed in on you good people. <laughs> I assure you there are no hidden treasures here. It's all out in the open. <laughs> A subtlety lost on my rod, I'm afraid. Where is it? What? Where's that little doll of yours? The doll, we need to make it. Oh. So, Tabitha, um. C could I have one of the drivers take you home, perhaps? I... Oh, Louise, it's Sheridan. Oh. Oh. Julian told me about your engagement. Congratulations. Thank you, Ivy. Yeah, thanks. What happened here? Uh, let's just say I barged in. <laughs> Leave it at that. Uh, congratulations on your engagement, you two. You make a lovely couple. Thank you. I'd wish you all the happiness in the world. <laughs> but I've seen your futures, dears. And this summer will bring you all the pain in the world. Both of you. We came to talk to Julian. Is he around? <clears throat> oh, I, he and Rebecca just stepped out. I'm sure they'll be back. I hope they don't catch Timmy living it up. What do you think about this party? Are Julian and Alistair planning to hurt Louise and Sheridan? <sighs> That's definitely what I thought when I first heard about it, but now I... I don't know. I mean, maybe Alistair and Julian are reaching out to Sheridan? Well, I wish I could believe that. Well, if it makes you feel any better, I am not 100% sure myself. But we have to remember that Louise and Sheridan are both intelligent people. They'll know that this party could be a threat to their future happiness, and they will both come prepared. I really don't think we have anything to worry about. Don't. Try not to fret, please, Pilar. And after all, I'll be at the party, too, to help you keep an eye on things. After all, this party means something to me. What are you talking about? The party is a perfect opportunity for me to spend some time with Sam, you know? Get a little closer. Oh. Using Luis and Sheridan's engagement party to get closer to Sam is a horrible idea. No, it isn't, Pilar. Sam will be there because of Luis. I'll be there because of Sheridan, as well as Ethan. It'll be like we're a real family. The family we should have been, if first my father and then Julian and Alistair had manipulated us and ripped me away from Sam. Aren't you doing the same thing to Sam and Grace that the Cranes did to you? Manipulating them, destroying their love. How can you cause them so much pain, Ivy? How can you? 